Hi guys, I'm Phil Sturpey. In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to write a simple Java program in Notepad and compile it with Java C. In an earlier video, I showed you how to download and install the Java Development Kit, or JDK. I also showed you how to define a number of environment variables so that Windows could locate the JDK files no matter where you were on the command line. In this video, I just want to write a simple program to test that everything is working as it should. So I'll create a new folder off the desktop named First Class to work in. Next, I'll create a file to contain my Java class. I'm creating it as a text file because that's what code files usually are. Now, convention has it that the first program that you write in a language should be the classic Hello World app, but I'm going to call mine Hi Guys and change the extension to .java rather than .txt. Right, let me edit that file in Notepad so that I can add some code. You write a simple class by typing in the keyword class followed by the class name. In this case, Hi Guys. This in turn should be followed by a pair of curly braces to define the scope of the class. As I want my program to run independently on the command line, I must provide it with a main method, which should be a public static that returns a void, or nothing. The main method should also have a pair of curly braces. Actually, I should probably add a string array named args to capture any command line arguments. I don't need them in this program, but it's very common. OK, I just need to add one line of code to this method. I want to call the print line method, which is defined in the system out package. And I'll pass the method my string message of hi guys. This is a very simple class containing a single method. I just need to save it before moving on to the build process. To build this, I need to go to the command line. Let me make a note of this folder location first. Now I can open the command line and then change directory to the location of my source file. Now although the source file is here, the compiler isn't. Remember though that I've added a path to the compiler in the environment variables. So I can go ahead and type in java c hi guys .java and press enter. Note there's no echo here, but my source code has compiled. We can see the compiled code here in the folder. It has a class file extension. The fact my code compiled proves that not only has Java and the Java compiler been installed, but I've also set the correct paths in the environment variables. In order to run or execute my code, I now need to type in Java Hi Guys, which is a file name given to my compiled code. My mistake, that can't run. I forgot that Java is case sensitive and I'd used a capital G in my name. So this time we'll try Java Hi Guys with a capital G. And there you go, my message is echoed to the console. So there you go. In this video I showed you how to test the JDK by writing a simple class, building it with Javac and running it with a Java Runtime Environment or JRE. Now it's all well and good to write simple code in Notepad, but in the real world developers use more powerful tools to do their development. One such integrated development environment or IDE is Eclipse. And in my next video, I'll show you how to download and install it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Feel free to comment on my blog and Facebook page. Perhaps you could suggest more video topics. Most of all, don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos as I release them. Bye for now.